Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Bodhi. Uh, this is my second vlog. It's for week nine. And I've decided to go with uh, the question of how I use the mobile web in my personal, professional and academic life and how it's uh, impacted my work, play and study. Now, I use uh, an iPhone at the moment. This is my second one. I've got a third one lined up. It's not an iPhone 5, it's just an iPhone 4S. This one's buggered. Uh, I've got, uh, I use Macs for desktop and laptop. I'm not an Apple fanboy, I'm fairly self loathing about it. But I know that you're already judging me for it. Some of you will be. I've made peace with it. Uh, I love Apple because uh, I'm technologically ignorant and uh, I like playing with computers still. So deal with it. Uh, I've got about 60 apps on my phone. Uh, less than five of these are games. Uh, my carrier data rate's really rough. Uh, the provider will remain nameless, but it's affected my mobile presence in that I don't really use it for uh, online gaming or file sharing or anything like that. Uh, unless I've got a Wi-Fi connection, I'm very... Uh, reluctant to use my mobile for anything unless it's an emergency. I'll check my email in an emergency or access any online info uh, through it. Most of the apps that I have are reference apps. Uh, they can usually be used offline or with minimal online connectivity. Uh, I've got dictionaries, I've got a unit conversion program, uh, currency exchange, I've got an offline map of Brisbane uh, and in this what I use these for in my personal life is easing my way through the real world uh, they help me in travel uh, they help me uh, diversify my data uptake that kind of thing uh, I've got all my social presences on there I've got Facebook Twitter Tumblr Skype these don't get much use, once again, because of the connectivity, but they're there if I need them in a pinch and I have a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, same, I've got Gmail, Dropbox, and WordPress. Once again, same thing. Uh, if I get caught short, I have used them in the past. It's just that they don't get a lot of use. I just like having them there, because your phone's always on you. Uh, I view the phone as a pretty much a miniaturized workstation. If I needed to leave the country, all I'd need is a power cord and I'd, I'd pretty much be set, I feel, as far as my online stuff could go. As long as I could find a data connection and a power socket, I'd be fine. Now, I don't currently count myself as having a professional life because I'm unemployed. Uh, but many of the things I do online have a professional parallel, so to speak. Uh, checking email, that's an easy example. Uh, you know, or I have a jargon database on there for, you know, different sorts of acronyms and things. If, if I needed that, that would have a professional application to me. Uh, Academically, have to give a shout out to the QUT mobile app. It's not flawless, but it was a big help in finding my way around and figuring out my timetable on the go when I first enrolled in uni in QUT. Uh, and having email on hand has also been really useful uh, when I've needed a quick contact with my lecturers or needed to check my marks. Uh, just find a Wi-Fi connection at cam on the campus and it, it was great for that. Uh, impact wise, uh, my mobile capability as I've explained, uh, it's allowed me to sort of play harder and study a bit better, study more diverse fields. I don't purport to be an, an expert in everything because of a jargon application but it has allowed me to gain a better understanding of some things than I would have if I didn't have the app. Uh, 
play harder. I've I'm a big navigator via Google Maps, uh, and I do like even you know I'm a bit of a nerd. I, I'm a literature nerd, and I enjoy writing. I've used the dictionary app on there when I've wanted to you know write pen and paper, which is a hobby that I enjoy. Uh, the reference libraries on there, like I say, they've they've allowed me to navigate jargon, acronyms, and complicated documents fairly easily. Once again, I'm in a way it's kind of caused a little bit of anxiety because I'm not sure if I'm understanding the uh, the material properly because I'm out of my depth and I'm reliant on an app. But I haven't run afoul of anything yet, probably because I'm mindful of the margin for error there. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I could have gone into a lot more detail, but that was a basic rundown, and it's I, I really enjoy it. I think apps are the way of the future. Anyway, I'll have another video up, hopefully for week 10, sometime before the end of week 11. Anyway, thanks very much. Cheers.